This is a squid that looks like Dumbo and lives 14,000 feet underwater. This is a newly discovered spider that wears the name of two celebrities. And this is the smallest chameleon in the entire world, the nano chameleon. If you've never seen one in your life, we don't blame you. First of all, they're really tiny. Second of all, they were discovered in 2021, so the scientific community has known about them only recently. They're the smallest reptile in the world. And as you can see from the picture, the nano chameleon is roughly the same size as a fingernail. Scientists found the male and female lizards in Madagascar. The new scientific name is Brocasia nana. Unlike many of the chameleons in the world, these little guys don't have the ability to change color. Their skin remains the same wherever they go. But this is a good thing, you see, because they spend their days on the floor of the rainforest. They're usually covered in leaves, grass, and dirt while looking for smaller insects to eat. They blend into their environment almost perfectly and can sneak by predators unnoticed. This is a Luridia phoenix spider. Velvet spiders are usually found in Mediterranean climates. They're tiny spiders that measure only 0.3 inches or 8 millimeters in length. The spider you're seeing here is the first of its kind to be found outside of the Mediterranean. Scientists are still baffled and can't explain how this spider found its way to Iran, but it's true. Interestingly enough, the red and white pattern you see on the back reminded researchers of the Joker's Grin, inspired by Joaquin Phoenix's performance, as well as the now late punk rocker Lou Reed. They named the spider Luridia Phoenix, in honor of these two great celebrities. What's interesting about the spider is they build nests along with other spiders, and unlike other spiders, they'll cooperate when caring for their young. Up next is the bright orange bat. Found in the Nimba Mountains of West Africa, where they were discovered, the bright orange bat has only recently been discovered because they can only live in this mountain range along with Lamotte's roundleaf bats. Preserving the area is of vital importance for the survival of the species. As they delved deeper into the caves of this mountain, scientists from Bat Conservation International found a species of bat they thought was just a variation of Lamotte's roundleaf bat. But after analyzing it and noticing the striking orange fur, they realized that this was a separate species of bat that smashed that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, they're a separate species of bats that lives exclusively in the Nimba Mountains. As we've said, the BCI is working closely with a mining organization from Guinea, and they're aiming at preserving the tunnels and caves deep inside the mountains hoping that this will become a way to offer the orange bat a better living environment. This is an iridescent Vietnamese snake. These snakes could offer scientists new insights into snake evolution, but they're harder to find than Waldo. Why is that? Well, we'll just tell you that this iridescent snake doesn't have bright light photoreceptors in its eyes. You might think that raises more questions than answers, but it's not true. You see, this is an evolutionary adaptation for those snakes who spend the majority of their life underground. They've been uncovered in Ha Giang province in Vietnam and have these oddly patterned scales all over their body. Unlike other snakes, researchers believe that these snakes have evolved earlier when compared to other snakes. This is important because if studied, they might tell us something about the evolution of snakes that we just don't know. But as we've already said, they're really hard to find, so we can't seem to unearth the mysteries they're hiding just yet. This ant is called the Stumagenes airste and is the first gender-neutral ant discovered. They were discovered in a region of northwest Ecuador, a place where there are many unique habitats of biodiversity. But this was unlike any other ant entomologist Douglas Boer from Yale had ever seen, so he decided to give this new species a name. To help him with the name, he got Michael Stipe, who's part of the band known as R.E.M. These two, Boer and Stipe, didn't name the ant after themselves. They named it after a really good mutual friend. You see, they both knew artist Jeremy Ayers, so they named the ant Stumengenis Ayers They. If you're a little confused and see Jeremy's family name followed by They, then we should tell you that this is done to showcase the fact that the artist was a champion of gender fluidity and non-binary representation. This little guy has a long name. It's a purple tree spider crab. They were found climbing the mangrove trees at the mouth of the Chitari River in Kerala, India. 
The small spiders covered in patches of dark purple spots are only 0.6 by 0.5 inches. The mangrove ecosystem is rich and biodiverse. Since these purple tree spider crabs are considered to be ecosystem engineers, it's possible that they could tell scientists why the mangroves are so biodiverse. The small crabs burrow through the soil, which helps to aerate it. They also recycle the nutrients through their diets. These small creatures with large legs and giant eyes could tell scientists the truth they've been long searching for. After the discovery of these tree crabs, they now plan on conserving the rest of the mangroves in the region. This could allow them to uncover many more species that have never been seen before. Here you see a shiny salamander, a discovery that's 50 years in the making. Scientists from North Carolina found this little guy about 50 years ago. They thought that it was just another two-lined salamander with some genetic abnormalities, but the researchers at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences used next-generation sequencing technology and proved that is not the case. They finally proved that this salamander is a species that differed from all the other salamander species. Not only do they differ in coloration and size, but they also differ in natural history from the other members of the complex. So now, North Carolina, the state who's registered more salamander species than any other, has just logged in another one in the books. They named their 64th salamander species as Carolina Sandhill Salamander. The name is a reference to its place of origin, which are the springs, the seepages, and the streams in the Sandhills region. Top 3 We mentioned this guy in the beginning. This is a deep sea Dumbo. Alexander Ziegler was aboard a German survey ship when they discovered something peculiar in their nets. They found this strange looking creature that looked like Dumbo's weird cousin. They nicknamed it Emperor Dumbo after discovering it in 2016. As soon as Ziegler saw it, they thought its body would be damaged from the nets, but this one turned out to be intact. As soon as they picked it up, he realized that this was some sort of Dumbo octopus. He knew this because, just like many other Dumbo octopuses, it had webbed tentacles and ear-like fins on the side of its head. After a little testing, the scientists realized this was a new species of octopus. They lived at crushing depths of 14,760 feet, and they spent their lives in complete darkness. This scary animal is a Sri Lankan giant scorpion. After a series of deaths caused by a scorpion called the Indian Red Scorpion, scientists conducted some nighttime research in the Yala National Park, one of Sri Lanka's national parks. And instead of finding the cause of the strange behavior of the scorpions, scientists found this. It's a new species of scorpion that's called the Yala Giant Scorpion. They're endemic to the island and have a peculiar biological trait. The female scorpions are larger than the males by an inch. Now it's possible that these scorpions were caught by illegal hunters and sold on the black market as pets without even knowing they're a new species of scorpion. That's how rare they are. This is the newly discovered Myanmar Langur. It looks like a bespeckled uncle, said Frank Momberg, the director of the Fauna and Flora International Program, and to be honest, we agree. With its black beady eyes, its white fur rims, and the purple fluffy fur, the Papa Langur is nothing short of cute. Scientists discovered that this was a new species of Langur by comparing tissues from various museum specimens in a laboratory, along with fecal samples from the wild animals in captivity. They found out that they'd been keeping specimens from this new species in their museums for 100 years and never once thought of examining them. They were named after an extinct volcano in the region, as they're one of about 20 species of Langer in one genus. However, we shouldn't celebrate too early. You see, the Papa Langer is a critically endangered species, with only between 200 and 260 animals existing in the world. So now the conservationists will try to protect and save the species from extinction. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next.